first thing that struck me about Nana was that she's female. And I don't mean this in a sexist way. You don't see many female waste collectors. You don't see many female women walking the street. It, it is a dangerous environment. It's a harsh environment, uh, especially during winter. It's tough for these guys. Two, three o'clock, they wake up and, and they walk at least 10 kilometers. So what moved me about Nana was that she's a woman. So she's more vulnerable and fragile. She's a mother. She is supporting a family in Lesotho. She's got a kid that she's looking after there. She's got another kid, I think. And she's even, so she's like supporting, I think, at least four people. So, yeah, it was amazing. It's like her courage and just the fact to, to do that, you know, that's, uh, um, I guess that, that impressed me and that moved me. When I'm telling a story, audio-visually, I, I never try and manipulate too much or dictate too much. But I also have an intention, especially with these waste collectors, these garbage collectors, that they are doing a really good job. And they actually are saving our economy at least 800 million rand a year. So, on the one hand, yes, I want to show that they're human and vulnerable. During winter, when we all don't want to get up, they get up at two or three. They work, walk the cold streets. They should be getting away more uh, recognition. To separate the personal from a professional, documenting a project like this, uh, working so closely with these people, I just kind of s stuck to my intentions. Like, wh what do I want to portray? What do I want to... Uh, how do I want people to be moved. And um, when I was working with the artist, he actually spent more time with them than, than I did. He dealt more with them. I kind of just tell him, told him like, listen dude, stick to your project, don't become too close friends with them. Um, in the end, we, we can't save them, but maybe we can just create awareness. The first uh, shoot we had with Nana, she was walking so fast and I was following her and I didn't have a wide enough lens on so the lens was like and I was walking and it was shaking and it didn't look good and we had to do it over because it didn't look cool but then the second time we did it, it was raining and it just looked so much more beautiful. So no, there's nothing I would have done different, no, not really, like, I mean, what, what can you do? Like, one thing I, I didn't want to do is I didn't want to make it look cliche, I didn't want to make them look like poor pathetic people, like, I wanted to make them look you know, just like me and you. But they do what they do. They have hope in spite of their circumstances.